What up? This is Rama Screen covering movies, TV, and entertainment, and here's my review of Johnny English Strikes Again. Let's rock this. Okay, I gotta be honest with you. I thought that the first Johnny English movie was just okay, and the second one, Johnny English Reborn, boy, that was just terrible. But this third installment, Johnny English Strikes Again, cracks me up. It starts out pretty rough, though with the jokes not landing, or rather, crashing and burning, so much so that you begin to wonder if Rowan Atkinson's brand of comedy may be a bit outdated now. But as it turns out, that is exactly what this movie needs, since it essentially deals with the old school versus the new school of spies, and so that results in a jolly laugh of a good time in theaters. Rowan Atkinson returns as Johnny English, the much-loved accidental secret agent who now may be in way over his head. When a cyber attack reveals the identity of all undercover agents in Britain, Johnny English is the Secret Service's last hope. Called out of retirement, English dives headfirst to find the hacker and must overcome the challenges of modern technology along the way. I was a huge fan of Mr. Bean's series in the 90s, you know, Rowan Atkinson's other iconic role, and that is actually one of Rowan's expertise, if you will, in that he is really good at physical slapstick and at making those weird-looking faces. So he applies similar method on Johnny English, but with a hint of James Bond satire to it. In this third go-around, what ultimately makes Johnny English Strikes Again hilarious is his insistence on doing things the old-fashioned way. Johnny is so prideful, so stubborn, that he refuses to admit that sometimes, not all the times, but sometimes, Technologies can outplay him. There's this long sequence right smack in the middle of the movie that got me rolling on the floor. I was laughing so hard I could not breathe. It's that scene in which he puts on a virtual reality headset, but he literally steps out into the real world while thinking that he's still in the VR world. <laughs> You saw it teased in the trailers, but man, you have got to watch that whole sequence in its entirety. Because the case of mistaken identity, or the case of simple misunderstanding, is a pretty common MO in the world of comedy. But not quite like this, when Johnny English mistakes or misunderstands everybody, and I mean everybody that he encounters as some kind of a CG VR villain, you will laugh out loud at the mess he leaves behind in his trails. Fancy seeing actress Olga Kurilenko in this film as a femme fatale, seeing that she was a former Bond girl in Quantum of Solace. Her character here is sort of the straight person to Rowan's bumbling comic persona. Now, in the previous films, the villains were played by big names like John Malkovich and Dominic West. And although the hacker in this film is not played by a big recognizable name, actor Jake Lacey does manage to make his character seem like a bigger asshole than Steve Jobs. In conclusion, without making this review any longer than it needs to be. Johnny English Strikes Again does a terrific job of reminding us why Rowan Atkinson remains one of the funniest people on the planet. This is Rowan Atkinson unleashed. After all these years, he still got it, man. So whatever you may feel about the previous installments, trust me when I say that Johnny English Strikes Again is the best one out of this series. So that's it. That's my review of Johnny English Strikes Again. Share your thoughts in the comment section below. Share this video with all your friends on the YouTubeverse. And as always, subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so you can get notified whenever I post new videos. Hey, if you like this review and you want me to make more, please contribute monthly to help support this channel at Ramascreen Patreon page. Become my patrons today at patreon.com slash Ramascreen. Let's rock this.